Hey everybody, it's James, Empty Pockets Garage. Back at it, back out in the garage. Still going to continue working on my ladder bar brackets today, and hopefully, maybe if not just get mocked up, the front cross member that holds the front of the ladder bars in the frame, but maybe get it tack welded in, hopefully. Uh, I'm not counting on that, that's just a goal. Uh, but I at least want to get the rear end back underneath the frame and uh, get that all measured out again. So, let's get at it. I'll cut you back on when I got something to show you.
Okay, let's have a little conversation here. So I got that in there. I removed the temporary pieces I had in there. Now I've got to place the front cross member in the right location and make sure I have everything still squared up. Now, knowing that, I knew I'd probably run into a problem with this cross member kit I bought because brackets came with this ladder bar kit, but just the brackets, nothing else. So I wanted something, and they were kind of like, they didn't go all the way around the pipe. They're just kind of just weld onto the side of it. And I wanted something a little bit stronger because someday this will have a beefier and more narrow end in it. Because I've got some other super wide Kragers with McGrary's and everything on it that's going to go on it at a later date. But anyways, getting back to what we, the issue of the day. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it on camera and then that'll be it for today. I thought I would get this video out today, but I'm going to come back tomorrow and do the welding, finish cutting this cross member. And do the welding on it and get it in the frame. And then I'll work on the... Oh. Tear my camera up. Hmm. All right. So. I got to get this narrowed. It's the bar comes and does a dip so the drive shaft will have clearance. But my cross member piece is going to be so low, I don't really need much uh, clearance as far as for the drive shaft because it's already so close to the transmission cross member that it, it probably will never be a problem. So I'm going to shut you off, set up the camera, and I'm going to cut this cross member piece today and then we'll get it welded in tomorrow. Okay, well, I still got to cut the bars on both sides so I can drop it in the frame rails, but it's going to go to the bottom of the frame rail 
not at the top and I I may even do some kind of like half wedge cut out of the pipe and sandwich it up on the bottom of the frame and weld it across the bottom of the frame that way I have it as low as I can get it without it not making contact with the frame so honestly I come back to work too soon people I I feel like I've done more damage to my knee today than I I did when I fell <laughs> so anyways I figure I'd go ahead and end this one I wanted to get this done in this one video series but it's not gonna happen today so we'll see what we can do okay so unfortunately it's probably gonna be it for this one I cut this much out of the middle of that bar this rear and I this frame I got it is super narrow <laughs> really narrow so I'm gonna be able when I get my rear rear end done I'm gonna have a vicious set of tires underneath this thing so that'll be pretty cool in time right now that's just a GM rear end with a 373 posi in it it'll get me around till I can afford to get the 9 inch done which I'm probably gonna be another year putting this car together so I'll probably be at least two to three years getting a rear end together for it because of the cost of it. So this rear end I'll have to do for now. And I know it's weak, so I'm not going to put it to the test. And I'm not one of those guys who uh, run it till I break it kind of people. Uh, I know you break things uh, when you drag race, but I'm not going to drag race this. So... This is James, Empty Pockets Crowds. Till next time, I'm out of here.